Anti-abortion group says it has a plan to stop a women's health clinic coming to Walnut Street that would perform abortions. And we want to know in our 13W MAZ poll, how do you feel about an abortion clinic in your town? Either no way or yes, it's needed or neutral. Either way, you can vote by opening the 13W MAZ app and scrolling down to the vote on air tile or by going to 13WMAZ.com slash vote. Epicosaurus explains how a new buyer hopes to block the clinic from leasing the building. We heard back in May that an abortion clinic was coming to Macon. We immediately mobilized. And Beal with the anti-abortion Colby Center led the charge against Summit Medical Center's plan to lease this building at 833 Walnut Street. Bad on the cross. These are just some of their protests. They also made signs and neighbors of the site filed a lawsuit to stop the clinic. Uh, people are protesting every Monday. Krunal Patel owns Total Engineers off Walnut Street. He joined the lawsuit against the medical center because of safety concerns. Some doctor bought it and uh, it's going to be a nice facility. Patel says the building's owner now plans to sell it to a couple that will terminate Summit Medical Center's lease. So here's what we know about the intended sale so far. Beal says that a doctor, Richard Rowe, who's also a board member at the Colby Center, is closing on the property. Then she says Rowe plans to cancel Summit's lease. Still, Beal says that they're asking people to post these signs around Macon. They suspect that Summit Medical Centers could be looking for a new place, still in Bibb County. Our goal is to make it hard for them to move anywhere in the Middle Georgia area. After all of the work to scare the company away, Beal says they feel like they've had a small victory before the holidays. In Macon, Abby Kassour's 13 WMAZ News. We could not reach Dr. Richard Rowe for comment. We also reached out to Tanya Little, a Summit Medical Center's, but she did not return our phone calls. Meanwhile, County Tax Commissioner Wade McCord says no one has filed documents with the county to register a sale of the Walnut Street site. And in our 13 WMAZ poll, it appears that most of you say no way would you want an abortion clinic in your town.